Good things back. Here is Murphy. Up against Mensing. Shelton Martis. Out for three matches. Chris Hall preferred to him at the back, but he's won his place back. Murphy is Sproul outside and the touch goes in. Sproul is onside. Electric pace from Sproul. Cut back in the open goal from Stephen Fletcher. Ebbs ahead inside three minutes. It was classic Ebbs. Ivan Sproul into Stephen Fletcher. It looked easy and in the end it possibly was easy. Well, Owen Coyle will be absolutely raging. I mean, the defending there. I mean, they must know all about Ivan Sproul. His pace. Look at the, look at the pace he's got there. It's a good finish, decent little cut back, Fletcher sticks it in well, it's a good finish but an awful start, defensively a poor, poor start for St Johnston. Well St Johnston watched in horror as Stephen Fletcher who scored against Gretna uses the lead. <laughs> Scotland, a little bit of magic, moves away, Scotland opens up! Oh, the semi-final. Goals that night, Dazovic, Alan Preston is a Hearts fan and George O'Boyle. Paul Kane played that night for Saints. Here's Brown, striding forward, fancy chances! Well, he got back on the score sheet at the weekend against Motherwell, having not scored since mid-November, but he fancied his chances here. Well, that is why the boy has lost so much money. I mean, it's so direct. It's a magnificent strike. Just catches the top of the crossbar. You see here, it's a really clean strike of the ball there. I think Kevin Cuffer's beaten. Great shot that they offer to come to St Johnson and took it. Swung in by Sheen, the goalkeeper came out for it. This is McDonald. Again, James was up there trying to get the first touch. Andy Laurie with a header, Rob Jones comes through. Fletcher to Shields. Delightful again from Hibbs, here's Shields going on the inside, takes away from Bozalon. Good effort from Dean Shields, worked himself into space. Yeah, great skill as well, a very talented boy. Comes inside, beats Andy Laurie, takes off one of his teammates. Doesn't quite get a, a decent strike on it, but not a bad effort. New Jersey gets it from Sheeran, Sheeran into Scotland. Scotland could try and set up Menzing, going himself though, has to pull the ball back. Little chip ball in from Harney, the goalkeeper comes good. He has, he's, better, he's better in the central area, I mean, I think they've moved Martin Hardy a little bit over wide left and, uh, and the shield play central. Poor ball again, Woo! with a long throw, Martis got it under control but it breaks and Martin Hardy says... Stanich wins the ball, they pull it back in field, McInnes. Well one in the midfield, here's Martin Hardy, Hardy goes for goal. Well, I think they have switched to 4-4-2 with... Ivan's bowling the right, Dean Shields on the left. Here comes Benjamin. Benjamin takes the touch, goes for goal. Well, he's been playing with a great deal of confidence lately, Benjamin, and he also lifts the Hibs fans. Yeah, he's a very talented boy. Gets the ball on his right foot here. Sheeran in. Rob Jones got the head flick down, Martin Hardy. Swung in again. Murphy got the head flick on, again falls for Martin Hardy. Fletcher to Benjaloon, Benjaloon has got a chance, and overlap from Dean Shields, Dean Shields flicks it across, Cuthbert out. good play from the goalkeeper, reacted well, read the danger coming on his right hand side. Yes, yeah, it's a stop, good, good, link play with the strikers here, all about Dean Shields' first touch, doesn't take a good first touch. He's yeah, a cultured midfield player, but just thumping it forward, Stanich battles for it, play on, says the referee, Stanich again. Tried to find it to Scotland, Scotland did get the touch ahead of Jones. Scotland's got McDonald on the left-hand side. One in the box for Saints, McDonald tried to play back across the deflection. Well, I can... Sheena. Into the box, dealt with by Jones, breaks for McInnes! Hit past Stanich, and there's a gap at the back, McCann was forward. Morris was there, Morris goes for it. Scotland in the box. It's a good cross, Scotland moved away! Fletcher, decent ball wide, Murphy picks up, he goes for the strike again, he does have a really strong left foot, good shot, but Cuthbert right behind it. Yeah, he's got a great left foot there, it's sat up nice for him there as well, 
penalty sent again the opposite Tank corner. Sheeran in. James looking for it. The header just wide. The time you would favour the SPL side. I'm not sure you would tonight. Well, not, not in the evidence of the first 90 minutes, Paul, or the first 88 minutes. They've started really brightly since then. It's been domination from St Johnson. Can Hibbs conjure up some magic? Is there a winner? Close along. Looking for Murphy now, playing in the midfield. Good ball across McManus away. Lewis Stevenson will pick up. Can he deliver a good ball? He does. Moving away, Fletcher. He's having his jersey taken off him. Still got the header away. And Kevin James is going mental at Goran Stanich. He's got to get closer to him. He's got to think that might be. Throws the ball back across. Flipped high in the air, Jones. Here comes Scott Brown. Lewis Stevenson, one of the three subs used there, like by John Collins. Fletcher came short. Benjamin made a run. Away past Mensing. Brown trying to see if the space will open up for him. He got taken out there by Derek McInnes. And Derek McInnes, I think, is going to see a yellow card for this. Yeah, I think it deserves a booking because Scott Brown had done him with skill in the 1 2 and he was onto the return ball. And, and, and Derek McInnes just brought him down there. Here comes Brown. Also, Murphy. Well, the Hibs players, I think, in their minds didn't expect this, certainly not when they went a goal ahead. Murphy pulls the trigger! <laughs> Kevin Cuthbert wasn't expecting it, not a shot from that distance, but David Murphy in his 101st appearance for Hibs rattles his fourth goal. It's a free kick that gives Hibs the lead at the start of extra time. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to blame the goalkeeper there. It's travelled far too far. Scott Cuthbert has got to get to that, push it around the post. Owen Coyle, if this decides the game, St Johnston and the fans will be devastated. The goalkeeper has got to save that. It's a decent free kick. It's not even in the corner. Take away from those along Stanich. On to McInnes, it's all they can do is to hook it forward. Martis is in there, though. Goes along. On to Whitaker. Hibbs looking to kill off this tie. Man wide and Murphy. Murphy going in. Chance to win it all! Great sliding challenge, it keeps St Johnson's faint slim hopes alive. What an outstanding challenge by Andy Laurie. Great block, and just ends up the cross. David Murphy took his time there, but taking up terrific position. Oh, missed by two, here's Kevin James. James cuts the ball in field, here's Sheeran. Sheeran, on to Jason Scotland. Scotland with a turn. Gets it back to Paul Sheeran, is this the chance? Sheeran is blocked! St Johnson aren't giving this up. Sheeran plays it in. Kevin James with the header, and Andy McNeil has it in his hands. The Hibs fans breathe a sigh of relief, and he had the intelligence to play it forward for Scott Brown. Scott Brown plays it in for Benjamin. Benjamin for Hamden! Benjamin takes his time! Insurance Cup final and John Collins gets the birthday present he so badly wanted. Yeah, you feel for St Johnson, but that was absolute class from Scott Brown and from Benjamin. Beats the goalkeeper, fantastic bit of skill. And then does Andy Laurie there with a great bit of skill. Simon Mensing, a lucky, lucky boy for coming in late there. Great composure with Benjamin, who's looked lively since he's come on. Does Andy Laurie, goodness me. Great goal. It looked a simple finish, but it means so much to everybody round Easter Roadway. A word of thanks to higher power from John Collins. He's relieved. I think as well, Paul, over extra time, you know, once they go at their goal, Hibs have been the stronger team, there's no doubt about that. St Johnson, over the 90 minutes, probably deserved at least the draw, if not the win. Time Castle is bouncing around three sides. The St Johnson fans have stayed, they will applaud their side. Referee Craig Thompson drives it all to a close. It took them 120 minutes, but Hibs are on their way to Hamden. John Collins with a shake of the hand for Owen Coyle. Hibs started the match in such fine form, St Johnson came all the way back into it. But in extra time, the class of the Premier League side told. Murphy with a goal. 
from the free kick to settle Hibbs' nerves. And really, from there on in, there was only going to be one winner. And Ben Jalun just wrapped things up at the end. John Collins congratulates his side. It's been a good night overall for Hibbs. It has. It's been a, you know, it was a terrific game. I think St Johnson can be very proud of themselves. But I think the extra legs and the younger legs for Hibbs team the probably the extra quarter he told them. The CIS Insurance Cup final of two of the best footballing sides in the country.